One of my recent videos was called, What are macros and should I be counting them? If you watched that video and decided that you should be counting them, here are a couple steps on how to get started. First thing you're gonna have to do is download a food tracking app. You can use MyFitnessPal or MyMacrosPlus, or there's a bunch of others out there that you can use to start typing in the foods that you eat every day. So step two is gonna be tracking your foods each day that you eat or planning a day ahead of just what you typically eat day by day. So that's gonna give you a good baseline of how you're already eating. Step three would be to get a macro calculation. Um, some apps will include this in the process when you sign up, you'll put in your goals and a couple data points about yourself and it'll calculate your macronutrient goals from there. If you want more of an individualized calculation based off of your body composition and your activity level and your goals and the things that you do day by day, you can contact me and I can do that for you guys. Step four would be to start making tweaks to how you're currently eating to adjust to reach those macronutrient goals. To do this, step five would be educating yourself on what's a protein, what's a carb, what's a fat so that you could hit those goals. And to do this, start reading nutrition labels to see the amounts of each in the food that you're eating. For my clients, I create a recommended day of eating to help them reach their macro goal using the majority of what they're already eating so that establishing new habits are easier. A recent Washington Post article recently discussed how there isn't one better diet adoption for weight loss when it comes to low fat or low carb. They both can result in some weight loss, but they often resulted in weight regain or sometimes regain plus some on top of that, because just picking one food trend won't change your diet unless you change your entire relationship with food. So picking one vital nutrient to cut out is not going to be successful, whether that's low fat or low carb, because it's just not sustainable lifestyle, especially if you're a very active individual who needs a balance of all three of the macronutrients. The people from the studies of these low fat and low carb diet trends who found success with either diet type were the ones who used the act of committing to one of these plans to also create healthier overall habits with food quality, activity level, and overall lifestyle change. Creating a new habit of tracking foods, even without knowing your particular daily goals, can result in this positive domino effect of more mindful and healthful eating. Then take it a step further and figure out what your exact goals will be will only result in even greater progress in your performance, in your body composition, and in your health. So if you're looking to create new healthy habits, you can start by just tracking your foods. And if you need any help with tracking or finding out what macronutrient goals you should be aiming to hit, feel free to contact me or visit my website for more information.